Hey there, fellow Smurf aficionados. Welcome back, David Eon here. Sorting Smurfs. I love the Smurfs. I'm a big fan of the Smurfs. I used to watch the show when I was a kid, enjoyed it. You know, Saturday morning, NBC, the Smurfs. And my wife and I are actually re-watching the Smurfs right now. And the show still holds up. It's fun. It's just fun. It's funny. It's entertaining. And I love the little figurines and the other merchandising, the classic merchandising. And if you were watching, you saw that we went to a toy show recently in Powder Springs, the Retro Toy Swap. And I bought an entire box full of Smurfs. This box, as a matter of fact, and you see on the side, it says Smurf stuff. And indeed, it was full of Smurf stuff. The box was full to about right here with these figurines and I talked to the dealer a couple of times and negotiated a price and came up with something I was comfortable with it was actually a pretty good deal quite frankly because I guess he just wanted to get rid of them and I said yeah if you're going to take the whole box well we'll do this and this is what I ended up with I took them all and there are duplicates you see all the Papa Smurfs there there are duplicates, but that's fine. There are many that are unique also, like all of these here that I've got piled up or standing up. And then the ones that are laying here do not have a duplicate or the duplicate is damaged like that Gargamel. See Gargamel hiding in there? There's actually two of them, but the other Gargamel is damaged as well as that Cupid Smurfette there. I've got one, but it's damaged. So these are unique, unique. And then we start getting into duplicates and variants. Oh yes, there are variants, tons of them. And we'll talk about that in a moment. These are the damaged ones. It's a pile of damaged ones. There's about 20 of them, unfortunately, but that's okay. And then you see the other Gargamel. Somebody chewed on his nose. <laughs> Basically, they chewed his nose off. Got even with him. This is one that's actually pretty popular, but you see his hat is split in half. That sucks. There's that Cupid Smurfette. You see the uh, arrow has been torn off. And this is the biggest one that I had the issue with as far as damaged. These are the soccer players. There's like a half a dozen or so in here. Six or seven at least. And the ball's missing. It's been torn off. See? There should be a ball there like this. See, I got two over here. That one's intact. There are certain ones that there's just multiples of, like the police officer, the ballerina Smurfette, there's a ton. Smurfette standing around, there's a ton. Papa Smurf again. There's a few of these where there's only a couple, like the barber, The swashbuckler there, there's three of them. It gives you an idea of how many also were produced heavily. Like the skater or the guy brushing his teeth here seems to be a pretty popular one. And there is a lot of variation. And you can really see the variation when you get a bunch of them together that are all the same one. Because these were manufactured in different places at different times. Like if you look at the Smurfette, you can see that there's color variation in there. Some of them are darker blue than others. You can see it also in the skater. There's darker and lighter ones and different shades. And if you flip them over, and I did this with the guitar player on the feet and you can't really see it as well as I can but if you read the copyrights on the feet on this guitar player they're different it they're I think all of those were manufactured in Hong Kong but the configuration of the stamps is different on the bottom of the feet and of course there's different shades of blue and other coloring variations you know, some of them say 77, some say 78, some say 1980, 1983, and so on. Some of them have a, uh, a W. Berry's stamp 
as well as the traditional stamps on the bottom for a tie-in with rust berries and keep in mind that there's a lot of packaging variation with these as well they came in little boxes they came on blister cards they were sold loose they were sold on little pedestals you see the football player is an example of that see he's on a little plaque and they also came on a little box that they would stand on to make it look like a trophy I used to see a lot of those in pharmacies growing up the trophy looking ones a lot of different packaging variations with these so if you were to try to variant hunt Smurfs you probably drive yourself nuts not what I'm trying to do but I did want to get them sorted actually kind of enjoying it because I like these it's a pity about the damaged ones but you know it is what it is what are you gonna do any fans out there you can really see it with these baseball players let me close up on that all four of the bats are different colors but the molds are identical you see and some other slight shading variation otherwise but the bats really stand out Smurf fans out there anybody do you collect this kind of stuff did you were you at the show did you see that box on that video someone had commented that they did indeed see this box of Smurfs because I showed it at the end of the video in our haul and he was like yeah they didn't want to get them because they thought they were too expensive and I could kind of see that sometimes presentation is everything and if it was me and I was selling I would have first removed all the damaged ones like I did here I would have done exactly what I've already done here. Remove the damaged ones, separate them into styles so that like types were together in little groupings so it would be easier for people to sort and I would have cleaned them up because I'm, I haven't cleaned them yet. Some of these are in need of a bath like if you look at the clumsy here dropping the apples the one on the far left definitely needs a scrubbing and it doesn't take much I mean these are just little vinyl figures you can clean these up easy enough that's what I would have done but you know it is what it is and plus, like I said, the guy was really highly motivated to get rid of them, apparently, because I got a knockout price for him. What do you think, guys? Are you down with the Smurfs? <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can, subscribe if you're new, all of that good stuff. And if that is it, then what more can I say but thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.